productive efficiency. Let's find productive efficiency on this individual firm graph. You know that productive efficiency occurs at the lowest point on the average total cost curve. So this is at point A. And as you can see, not only is this firm productively efficient at point A, it's also allocatively efficient because the price paid by the consumer is equal to the marginal cost of the last unit produced. And so this is productive and allocative efficiency. And this is also where economic profit is equal to zero because total revenue is zero, P, A, Q. And since the average total cost is point A or P, that the total cost is zero, P, A, Q, which means that economic profit is equal to zero. Let's look at another graph. This is a graph of an individual firm earning economic profit greater than zero. If you notice, the firm is productively efficient at point J, but it's allocatively efficient at point C and is going to produce Q3 units. So at the profit maximizing quantity where the firm is earning an economic profit greater than zero, the firm is not productively efficient. Productive efficiency takes place here. The firm is operating here at point G on the ATC, so the firm is not productively efficient when there is economic profit greater than zero. Looking at an economic loss, you can see that the lowest point on ATC is right here at point I. And at point I, the firm is productively efficient, but the firm is going to produce Q3 units because that's where MR is equal to MC, and it's allocatively efficient because the price is equal to the MC. But if you notice, it is not productively efficient when the firm is earning an economic loss because it's operating at point E on the average total cost curve at the profit maximizing quantity of Q3 but is not at the lowest point on its average total cost curve.